What do you call the numbers written as halves? They're called fractions. Why are there two numbers, one up and one down? Because fractions have got a number above the bar, called numerator, and a number below it, called denominator. The denominator indicates the number of parts in which I can divide a whole number. Could we also keep on sharing the halves? Of course. During the break, one of you had a doubt, and I think it'd be a good idea if we could all think of an answer for it. That student shared some chocolates with her friends, but when she finished, she realized there were some left. What would you have done? Let's say the student wanted to share six chocolates with four friends. How does she share the ones left? She gives one chocolate each, and she's got two left. She's got two left, because six divided by four equals one, and the remainder is two. Now think, what can we do with those two chocolates? I split them in half, and I can go on sharing them. Do you mean each one of her friends is going to have more than one chocolate, Matt? Right. I think each girl will have a chocolate and a half. How would you write the number of chocolates for each girl? I know. One chocolate sweet and half more. If I add up the four halves of the chocolates, I'll have two whole chocolates. That means that four times a quarter makes up one chocolate. I didn't know that. Right. But remember that in order to share in parts, these parts must always be equal. Hi, Dad. What are you doing? I'm arranging the CDs. I've realized that out of the total number, which is 20, half of them are ballads. What about the rest? I've got five tango CDs and another five jazz CDs. Shall we turn numbers into fractions? Let's see how much you've learned at school this week. Okay, Dad. You said that you've got 20 CDs and that half of them are ballads. That is, 10 CDs are ballads. Yes, plus five tango and five jazz CDs. It's easy. Ballad CDs are the half. Tango CDs are a quarter. And jazz CDs are another quarter. Right, Lucy. Congratulations, you've been able to solve fractions very fast and well. I can see you liked this topic. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and answer the question. You can also click the links on the right to continue learning and click the like button. We appreciate your help. See ya!